Wednesday, March 28th, 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Back at the GOES-16 satellite. Guys, about three weeks ago, noticed what appeared to be a strange flash of light. Something that appeared from the Pacific, later being observed over here on the Atlantic side. This is from last night. Check it out. See the flash of light? That's unedited. In fact, that's what's looping right now at the GO-16 visible. This event, what I've done is recorded it and put it in uh, slow motion. And I've enhanced a couple of the clips. It's the clips from last night and the night before. And the light, or whatever it is, seems to be getting a little stronger. What's unusual about this is it's been visible from the ground, or at least something similar is being observed from the ground um, in multiple places across the United States and Canada. What's super interesting is last night uh, a young lady from Miami, Florida witnessed something very unusual in the skies from Miami. I waited until I heard from her exactly the, the details surrounding what she observed. And this is the conversation that we had yesterday evening uh, via Facebook. And I sent her a message because she had sent me the pictures on Monday. Looked at them Monday night, but I didn't know any of the details around them. And what they looked like were auroras being observed from Miami. And they were coming in waves of like flashes. And this is what she, she sent me last night. So I waited to do the video today. I put, do you remember what direction this was in? And I've left her name anonymous uh, for privacy purposes. And approximate time, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., because it was clearly after dark. She responded later saying, I'm sorry I didn't give you more details. It was around 9.50 p.m. and it was in a northwest direction. And that would be from Miami looking northwest. I wanted to send you more videos, but I can't by email because they are too too heavy, too big. I got the video around 9.50 p.m. and it lasted for a very long time because when I went outside again around 10.30 p.m., I was able to still see it, just not as clear as it was earlier. So it went on for about 40 minutes. If you watch this phenomenon as it occurs from the satellite or, or in the satellite, the flashes of light that we see, and they've been described as different shades of black, if you actually get a chance to see these things. It's the sky changing shades of black. That's how it was described when it was observed from Ohio a couple of weeks ago. This is from last night, March 27th. Um, very unusual, but we've also got a witness from Pennsylvania of the same type of phenomenon that was witnessed in Miami. Check this out. Gentlemen saw the same thing. Uh, Western Pennsylvania, the past three nights, and I received this Tuesday, yesterday at 5.58 p.m. Uh, the past three nights, I've been noticing these rapid flashes of deep purple and green coming from the skies. The event only lasts for about three or four minutes, and that's from his perspective in western Pennsylvania. Then it stops. But it's at the same time every night, and that's been for the past three nights from his location. This is not common. I've lived here my whole life. But last night, a friend and I experienced two loud booms afterwards. Very weird. Don't know if the booms are associated with what we're seeing here or not, and we're not even 100% sure if what we're seeing as far as what looks like some sort of a, a light anomaly on this satellite is what's being witnessed on the ground. It's just mighty coincidental that it's around the same time. So here's the video. I've enhanced it a little bit. That's the original version. This is slowed down and enhanced just a little bit so you can look at that. It does stretch all across the United States and look at that. That's enhanced of course, but you can see it up into Canada. I have multiple witnesses from Canada. You can see it stretches from uh, the Pacific, or at least like it appears to originate from the Pacific side, spanning all across the U.S. If you were in Miami looking at this, 
which direction would you be looking? To the northwest. So I'm going to show you the pictures that she took and uh, the video. The video was in vertical format, so I had to... In fact, here's one of the pictures from Miami I put in this video. Here's another picture from Miami. There's the purple. Same type of colors that were being described from Pennsylvania. That one there had a little bit of a reddish tint to it. Again, these are pictures from Miami. There's the green. And the person from Miami said that she had never seen anything like this before in her life. And, and it almost looks like auroras. They look like a form of aurora. There's one that's more of a purple shade. Okay, here's the video. And this is why I didn't use the video. What I had to do was take screenshots of the video, rotate them... Uh, to the left so that they would be horizontal instead of vertical for some reason it is a sideways video but it's from March 26th from Miami Florida and I'm gonna play it so you can see it in its entirety there's what she was seeing this is why she was recording this event and she's looking to the Northwest and again I apologize for the for the video format trying to present it to you guys in the best way that I can, but there's unfortunately nothing I can do about its orientation. But you get the idea. This is the horizon. You can see streets, houses. That's a sort of a post. It's obviously the, the, the sky in the northwest. Look at that. Look at that green. So more than likely, this was witnessed by many other people. I just haven't heard about it yet. There's purple. Our friend from Pennsylvania noticed the purple and green also. Same time. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much what the entire video is about. These different types of Shades of color now being seen in the night sky it started out as different shades of black two or three weeks ago, and now we're seeing multiple color changes. Purple, green, you can see one or two instances where it looked like it was almost a red, a shade of red, uh, different shades of green, which remind me of auroras. But remember, this is in Miami. There's another green wave. She said that this went on for the better part of 40 minutes. If you look at the time frame as uh, this satellite is showing us this anomaly, if you look at the time that it starts, let me see if I can go back to the video. Okay, here's the video that I put together. From the time it starts, Okay, right in here. First light. It's around 417 Universal. To the last little beam that you can see, which this one here, it's not enhanced, but it's still kind of there. It's just not as visible. That's 447. That's 30 minutes. What I measured earlier, when I enhanced it just a little it does seem to be visible for about 40 to 50 minutes coming and going in waves watch starting right there doesn't look like 40 or 50 minutes in the video but that's actually how long these things are visible on and off in the night sky for between 40 and 50 minutes. Now, it's also visible over here on the Atlantic side. If you pay attention, watch real close. It starts out on the Pacific side, and those are the most profound. And then you go over here to the Atlantic side, and you can see them as well. On the Atlantic side, however, right there. Watch. Okay. See the bursts on the Atlantic side? 
those only last between 20 and 25 minutes and they must be a little more difficult to see. Something very interesting going on at first when I noticed this on this instrument, even though I watch this instrument on a daily basis, I've never noticed anything like that on here before in the past. And it's been up for a year and a half. So I've seen many loops of day and night versions across this platform and I've never noticed anything like that. And I would have dismissed it as some sort of a light anomaly, some sort of a glitch, but it's being witnessed on the ground. We're having people see this. I haven't seen it personally. I have light pollution and we've been having a lot of clouds lately, but I am looking for it and would love to see it. So if you guys are seeing this phenomenon, uh, by all means, share your pictures with us at reports at MrMBB333.com. Right here is the email at the website. So I appreciate any pictures you may uh, see of this phenomenon. If you see it, it seems to be happening just a little while after sunset, hour or two after sunset, when it's uh, really dark out, and if you have clear skies. So anyway, guys, so I wanted to touch on this picture I shared with you guys the other day. Um, the person that took this picture told me that this was taken actually in uh, Huntington, West Virginia. This particular photograph here of this dark ring that uh, she captured in the sky. That was from not British Columbia, Huntington, West Virginia. And there's another example of it there. This one, however, was from British Columbia. And you can see the cloud formation before sunset and you can see it as the sun was setting and this is pretty much as the sun was almost gone whatever it was it maintained its position she had just changed locations you can see the different trees but whatever this was stayed the same for probably over 30 minutes or so very very interesting all right guys have a super day thanks for watching and be safe out there